Hello folks, this is Shin Star. Welcome to you welcoming you back to YouTube after being months away. Um the last P I'm doing is well, probably permanently on hold or basically stop altogether. I just been having some trouble trying to find a good recording program that wouldn't just mess up the video. Or force me to just exit out the game in order to stop recording. Which probably mess up the video mess up the video in some other way, but that doesn't matter right now. Anyways, what I'm here to do right now is to do a Let's Play, and that's what I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. So let's get started. I played this game a bit, so I know what I'm doing. Somewhat. But, well... <laughs> uh, yeah, I know what I'm doing somewhat. Uh, so let's see which one we want to play on. Too bad. Thornlands. Meadows. Any of us played on that one? Oh. I'm currently playing that one. Or, might as well play it on some other times. <clears throat> Excuse me? No. Oh, Maybe. How's this wrap around? Well, yeah, never mind. Alright. How about. No. Uh, Should have taken. Should have done this all off screen. Um, let's see. Do, 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 do. You know what? That doesn't look. This doesn't look that bad. Let's just go ahead and type in LP. Yeah, that's gonna be our game. Um, which one do we want to do? Early age, middle age, or late age? Um, never really tried any donations from the middle age. Sorry, late age. Let's see. We got Abyssinia, Blood of Humans, Cytus, Desert Tunes. Pangea. Hmm. Interesting. Surfing Cafrax? Oh boy. Hmm. Let's see. Frozen Sea, Island Treatment. Let's go with this one. Six. I'll pop a little more for good measure. Okay. Alright. If I'm correct, really, these are the Cthulhu Spiled Knit. This is uh, Cthulhu Mythos Inspired Nation. Basically, they focus on madness, and you can figure it out yourself. Let's say. In ages past, a distant star inhabited by a great race of strange alien beings was struck. So much will cut The star fell from the heavens, bringing two tiny shards. One such shard fell in through the spheres and down upon the world. The shard came to rest on the ocean floor, and there a remnant of this great race adapted and survived. They multiplied and enslaved a race of fish-like humanoids. 
by sheer strength of mind and conquer the underwater realms of the world. In the hall of the Rayleth, the star spawns, the great ones who survived the fall, opening the, a gate into the void and unleashed its horrors upon the world. But the void was not was not to be controlled, even by the star spawns. The very fabric of the veil was weakened, and madness struck the inhabitants of the mighty Rayleth. Only the most powerful of the star spawns were able to keep their minds intact. The Empire crumbled as the Saturnity took the leaders and, force, and the former slaves in service of the Empire were able to lift the yoke of Wrath. But now God is awakening, and it is a God dreaming of the Void. Mind defying dreams of the Sleeping God are purging the inhabitants of coastal and underwater cities. With the dreams comes the horrors. Strange cannibalistic cults worshipping the Void called them from beyond. The dreamers of Wrath threaten to destroy the world. Okay, so all their coastal forts have a special well where women can submerge themselves in the hope of being impregnated by the Great One. However, most will be taken by deep ones inside, and the women's offsprings will be strange fish-like humanoids instead of the noble star children they wanted. These half-human hybrids are usually devoted to the cause of putting mankind below the sea, and often join the army of Laos free of charge. Alright. So their entire race is underwater. The military is mostly Atlantean and Oceanic slaves, hybrids, and Elith. God, probably butchering the pronunciation of that. Let's say the matrix Estriel, of course. Water, of course. Earth, death, and some nature. The priests are average, but can summon void beings. Might get additional insane profits. Their dominion kills off population, creates dreamers, madmen, and void beings. Makes not all. Void beans, insane. All right, that would be a fun race. Uh, which one do we want? Uh, crap! I got a little timer here. It's blocking. I can't see. Oh well. Which one? You know what? This will be fine. Uh, I'm sure we'll think of something. Let's put it five, four. Uh, that'll be good. So, we're gonna slow down the death. Um, make it in prison. Just for the heck of it. Okay, I guess we can't put any more points in. Oh well. I think we're good to go. Oh, right. uh, what shall we name our god? We shall call him. Weird fish thing. Probably mispronouncing that. Hang on just one second. I'm back. Yeah, I did misspell it. Alright, that's good. <laughs> right, I'm gonna go ahead and make them enabled. Um, let's see these happening too often, but why not? And I'm gonna go ahead and. Let's make it 12. Make it 2. I think that's good enough. I'm going to go, I'm going to go ahead and re allow renaming in that up to 50 because I want a lot. 
Yeah, I think we're good to go. Alright, let's begin. It's going to take a while for it to curate everything. Yeah, I am recording this at about 3.30 a.m. That's all I am doing this. No, you're here for destruction, me. Oh, we come. No, I'm sorry to come. And it's done. All right. Now we're starting to water. Let's go. Let's go ahead and start recruiting. Now, which one do we want? Okay, they're just slaves. As a matter of fact, what is what troops is he using? Out of magical, let's see, are magical beings, mindless, oh, good dark. Oh, 
all that. Ow. Is a task. I only have 40 of them. Slave mage, traitor prince. Hmm. I have to use him for some. We're gonna lose a lot of them. So let's see, we got Star Child. Alright, so let's go ahead and get. I suppose it's a here. Screw it, Tree of Prince and can Conquest. So the Crap Hybrid. Scout, let's go ahead and take it this way. Okay, there's a pavilion, so you should be able to go on land, do some scouting for us. Uh, let's run in, really. Alright. Let's go ahead and turn. Go ahead. Time to think of something else. <sighs> Let's see. What's on today's subject? Are talking about and Sammy, so let's talk about uh, that fine young fellow who man who put his own armor over his face and yelled out Hail Hydra. You know the one, Alex Jones. Yeah. Apparently, there's a new conspiracy theory out about the UN trucks moving across what was it Kentucky and West Virginia. Apparently, there's supposed to be something about doing something about the. Uh, Rounding up all American citizens, taking their guns, whatnot. You know, the usual shit. The conspiracy theorists always talk about. Alright, we're back. I don't have a profit. Let's make you a profit. Got to do that. Alright. So we got training guards, training tro troopers. Let's go in this direction first. Two direction of good water. And there's Ictan Warriors. I suppose they wouldn't be too bad to use. They got nets and they can slow the enemy down. Alright. Oh, there's no, that's right. They're slave troopers. Wait, seriously, we can't. Seriously, we can't. All right. You. You. 
Stay behind troops. Attack closest enemy. You attack closest enemy. And we'll get through this together. So go this way. Actually, I should also crew a priest. Um, now, do I want that one or. That's it. Alright. So anyways, back to the crazy conspiracy theory. Apparently there's supposed to be something big is apparently something big is supposed to go down. Yeah, it's the Jade Helm thing all over again. Christ. You know, it'd probably be easy just to create some of the most ridiculous shit and yet they still would believe it. You know? I mean uh, let's say... Let me... No. No, that won't work. Well, now they already believe that we're poisoning a wire. Not with uh, actual poison, but... Some strange chemical that reduces estrogen and testosterone... Testosterone at the same time. Uh, what else is there? Ooh, what else is there? Uh, Christ. Damn it, I'm coming up blank. I know it's easy to trade something, but... No, no. Well, actually, it'll be easy to fool them. Creating it, however, is a different thing. Oh, crap. No, oh, seriously? Seriously, we lost all. Well, we just lost our local guards. They're pretty weak. Alright, you start. Here. Now, how good are you? Oh, he has some valor. And he's got to improve leadership. He's inspirational. Good dark vision. Alright. I was trying to get with you. Is this. Oh! Oh, sweet, he's a mad merdman. Be trouble. Oh, man, really? We got 160 units at the throne. This is on farmland. So we got some nearby farmland. That's good. The alarm just went off. I didn't even show you the battle. Eh. 
Why not? It take forever, but oh well. You guys have some action. It's not sexual, sorry, but yeah, this guy's got some action. Alright. A divine day for war, I tell you, sir. It's, uh, the men of trans and these same bastards are coming at you one the same. That's easy, and some of our trans guards are starting to get their asses kicked. No, sorry. The slave guardians are starting to get their asses kicked, rightly so. By just regular mermen. And trans guard are coming up against on their left, and it's starting to look like shit. So the lobos are basically holding them off for now. Until something bad goes happen. Well, what the heck is this? Now, that what the that way's faded. Yeah, it's fair enough. Okay, that's what. I know, anyway, folks. It seems as though our men. That seems as though the insane bastards are basically getting their asses kicked, as we all thought they would. Hey right, guys. No, I'm moving in. Not any case. <laughs> Bowser's are still holding strong, surprisingly enough. And yes, I'm fully aware this is going about single digit frame rate. Yeah, my computer sucks. Uh, I can't apologize for it because I'm the one that, pi that picked it out. Oh boy. And they are routing, folks. Seems as though the fishmen are. Basically, putting the tail between their legs and moving it out of there. I don't know if that made sense, but I don't really care. Yeah. But I think we all seen all we could see today, and that's about it. And I think that's it, folks. Tune in again next time and see if we can actually kill them or if we get our butts kicked uh, once again. This is Shen Asana, reporting you live from the world of the minions. I say peace out and hopefully we will turn some more people into our slaves. Bye.